Okay, today we're going to make sauerkraut. We're going to cut our cabbage and we're going to slice it up and we're going to put it in. I have an electric mandolin that I'm going to put it in to slice it up. You can slice it by hand. I just find this easier. Well, I say it's easier. Okay, we have five pounds of cabbage finely shredded here. We're going to add two tablespoons of salt. We're going to mix it in and we're going to let it sit for 20 minutes once we get all of this mixed in. You need to make sure it's mixed in good. The bigger bowl you have, the better it is. And I'll see you back in 20 minutes. Okay, you're going to want to use canning salt, not table salt. So you're going to want to get some canning salt to do this. Okay, sweetie, we'll be back. Okay, we are ready to put our kraut in our jars. We have a mallet to pound it down with. And we want to pound it down tight. And I always make a mess making sauerkraut. This way I don't make so much of a mess.
as you push it down you'll see the water coming up that's good you want the liquid in there got it in there. We've got liquid covering it. We are going to take a clean lettuce leaf and we are going to push it down in there and we are going to put a weight on it. Okay, there's one of our jars done. Put the lid on it. Here's our second jar. And here's our second jar. We're going to put a leaf in it and put a weight in it. And we will let these set for four weeks. And I'll bring you back when our four weeks are up. I'll see you then. Okay, we have four ga half gallons of sauerkraut. I'm going to can part of it because I don't have room for four half gallons in my refrigerator. So I'm going to empty them into this pan and we'll be back when I get them in the pan. I don't know how well you can see this, but I've got a jar that's got some white stuff on the top of it. I'm just going to skim that off. It won't hurt the 
sauerkraut at all. You just skim it off and then you'll be ready to can this up too. So we'll be back. Okay, we are doing the hot pack method. I've got my sauerkraut on the stove to boil. We want to get it hot through and through. I have a pan of water with two tablespoons of salt per quart that I'm going to use to fill my jars with. And we're letting it get hot and we'll be back when this is ready to put in the jars. Okay. Our product is hot, our jars are hot, and our liquid that we're going to add if we need it is hot. We're going to fill our jars. I'm using some quarts, I mean some pints and some half pints, but they process for the same time. You fill it to a half inch head space. And that looks like it's got enough liquid in it. We're not going to add any liquid. We're gonna wipe our jars. We're gonna debubble. When I debubble, it looks like I do need a little bit of liquid. So I'm gonna put just a little bit. Put our lid on. Our canner has been heating up. We're water bathing these. So it goes in the canner. Here we go on our second jar. And you can pack it in there to a half an inch head space. We're going to debubble. Add a little bit of liquid. Wipe our rims. And put our lids on finger tight and put it in the canner. I'll be back when we get all these in the canner. We've got our jars in our canner. We're going to let them down. We're going to put the lid on and wait for it to boil. And then we're going to process for 10 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, there is our sauerkraut all canned up. It is true that when you can it, the heat destroys the uh, benefits of the probiotics, but this way it will stay good for a year and uh, We've got some in the refrigerator, too. So we'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, sweetie. Please like and subscribe.